Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to Magazine Monday. I hope you all are doing great. I'm not sure how you all are doing with the time change, but it has affected me. I don't want to say I lost an hour because yesterday was just a crazy day for me. So I took a long nap, woke up, went back to sleep, woke up, went back to sleep. So my sleeping is a little bit off. So anyway, I hope that you um, are doing great. I hope that everyone can get on track with their time. So we are still in this magazine. I think today is going, even though I really want to create another project, I think this is going to be the last Magazine Monday from Creative Stamping Issue 76. It has a beautiful, beautiful stamp set in it. I absolutely think that this is one of the prettiest stamp sets that I've ever gotten in the magazine. It's from Pink Fresh Studios. So I'm not really familiar with that um, stamping company, but they, the stamps are beautiful. I love this one. I've used it multiple times and I just like them that are so large and easy to work with the ones that I've used at least so I did I kind of went off script a little bit because I don't have a happy birthday stamp <laughs> I'm quite sure they tell you where you can get one from but um I don't have that one but I just used I didn't even really use anything but I got like inspiration from this picture I guess you could say and um and this picture so what I created was just a small card. I want to talk about a few things that I used real quick. Um, I got these from Joanne Fabric a long time ago. 2006, 17, 16. It was made in 16, got it in 17. And so right here you can see I have two little pearls just hanging out right there because they, the sticky stuff came out. So if you have some of these from anywhere i would say um but especially joanne this one you may want to peel them off a little bit more gingerly i tried that and it still got stuck right here as you can see um maybe not but right here is the sticky stuff so i just added some art glitter glue on there i'm also trying to use up some of these little um 30 cards so i really want to make an easel card but somehow i stamped it and my stamp image didn't come out as great as i wanted to i still colored it because I was like, I can just do a little sentiment right across where the boo boo is, which is right here. I was like, I'll just do a sentiment, but I couldn't find the sentiment that I wanted to use. So I'm just like, okay, we'll just put this to the side and use it later. So this is what I created. It just says, and I used um, archival ink, distress, uh, the gray one, whatever that name is, smoky something. Let's see. Um, hickory smoke. So I used that, which I thought was really, I like those, as I told you before. And they had them on clearance at Hobby Lobby a while back, like two weeks ago. And they may still be having things on clearance. You know, not every Hobby Lobby has things on clearance at the same time. So anyway, um, I stamped and colored this in um, Arch Ranger Archival Ink. And I think I'm just off a little bit today, so um, forgive me. And I colored it with uh, Crafters Companion Spectrum Noir markers, and I like those markers because they seem they seem to work pretty good with the ink, even though they're alcohol ink markers. They don't really run the ink from the ink pad that much, and I didn't want to pull out my heat gun and zap it. But anyway, um, I stamped out. I normally don't stamp off i usually just stamp directly on the thing but i'm learning as you all know i'm still learning i still consider myself i wouldn't say i'm new anymore i'm more of a novice right so i stamped off a few times to get this and it's still the um the s's look like g's because that's not how you write a cursive s right so i'm not sure what they i guess they want it to be fancy like a fancy s i don't know um but that's really not how you write a cursive s at all but anyway, I stamped it out. I thought that would be really cool in this color because I felt like this blue-gray went well with that color. And on the inside, I just took a sheet of paper and I used some sunflower. I think it's called sunflower edge trimmers. And right here, I just rounded the corner. So that is that for this magazine. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed it. I may revisit it during the Christmas holidays because this is a Christmas, definitely a really pretty Christmassy um magazine i do want to say thank you all for watching i hope that you've enjoyed until next time happy crafting